my presentation today is about the replacement of wood or concrete in construction projects. Uh, this is an industrial case study demonstrating the benefits of intrusion moulded plastic waste. As the search for more cost effective sustainable construction increases pace, there's a need to raise awareness of the benefits available from the use of recycled materials. We propose that the construction industry should consider intrusion moulded recycled plastic as a first choice material in preference to wood or concrete in an increasing number of applications. In 2014 the global production of cement was 4.3 billion tonnes. In Europe 159 million. Compare that to the use of plastic in building and construction at just 9.6 million tonnes. Of that tonnage, the plastics used were mainly PVC in pipes and window frames. Plastic is less dominant for a number of reasons. Firstly, it's relatively short history, for cost reasons, and most importantly, because of a lack of awareness. In a very traditional market, the history of the product becomes increasingly important. Cement can be traced back to Roman times, although modern cement is dated as being invented in 1824. Compare that to polyethylene, which came some 131 years later, and followed closely by polypropylene in 1957. Virgin polymers are also expensive compared to cement and because of their oil-based nature have some variability in pricing. However, there's a huge opportunity in recycled plastics where the characteristics have changed little from the virgin polymer but at a, at a significantly reduced cost. Recycled plastics can therefore offer both an environmental and a commercial benefit. From an environmental perspective, 25.8 million tonnes of plastic entered the European waste stream in 2014. Less than 30% of that was recycled. Not only is this a huge burden on landfill, but it's also a significant waste of a valuable raw material. The intrusion moulding technique for recycled plastics allows you to compensate for the variability of materials by using pressure as part of the process. It produces a product that is lighter than concrete, resulting in reduced transportation and manual handling costs, longer lasting than the wooden alternatives because it doesn't rot, and stronger in compression and less brittle than concrete and that results in lower installation costs. The product's also maintenance free. Recycled plastic's been used in construction for approximately 20 years, but it's tended to be single polymer types that are injection molded into products like buckets and paint trays. The technique I'm talking about today, intrusion molding, requires a different process altogether. Intrusion moulding is similar to extrusion in that it requires a sausage machine of molten plastic that's forced under pressure to shape the end product. That's opposed to the more traditional extrusion which is forced through a die to make a continuous profile like a PVC window frame. Intrusion allows non-uniform shapes to be made, for example drop curbs, and more complex shapes like underground utility chambers. Unlike concrete, the material can be sawn or drilled on site without creating any dust. And to work with it, it's very similar to timber in that it can be sawn or screwed. The product doesn't rot or splinter, it's very difficult to make it crack, and it doesn't require any preservatives or maintenance. 
The intrusion moulded process operated by Harm Plastics has its foundations in a business called Intraplas, which was formed in the year 2000. This is one of the very early images of Intraplas product in use, used as a revetment in the Millennium Ribble Link Canal. Sixteen years on, that product is still performing the same function as it did on day one. The process wasn't easy and it required significant polymer testing, including cooperation with universities. Further developments of the product have led to the, the creation of the EcoCrib retaining wall. EcoCrib is made of a blend of recycled plastics and created using that intrusion process. In 2012, the BBA granted it a design service life of 120 years, which is over twice that of a wooden crib wall. Wooden cribs have historically used timbers from the southern hemisphere with high concentrations of preservative. EcoCrib doesn't require any preservatives. This is an example of an EcoCrib wall used by Bovis Homes on an estate in Cheshire. The wall can be laid very quickly with the heaviest component usually 16.5 kilograms compared to the equivalent concrete piece of over 70 kilos. This makes it easily manhandleable and the product has no requirement for steel reinforcement. This is EcoCrib used in a highways application. 400 linear metres of wall used on the eastbound carriageway of the A14 in Northamptonshire. This wall not only retains but also supports an environmental acoustic fence which has to withstand heavy goods vehicle wind loading. This last example is the tallest eco-crib that we've done to date at Centre Parks in Woburn Forest. Centre Parks were keen to use it because of its environmental credentials and sustainability. This is a 10 metre high retaining wall structure which has a large curve as you can see from this picture. The EcoCrib is very typical of the type of product that's made out of intrusion moulded waste plastic. It's not a new product, it's a replacement for a current wood or concrete product, and it may have been the first choice had the material been in existence when that product was first developed. Other examples of intrusion moulded products include road curbs, in this application, the material is extremely resilient. Typically, a concrete curb would fracture when dropped from a height as little as 200 millimetres. A recycled plastic curb was tested up to 2 metres without fracturing and only having minor scuffs on the surface. The product is also very good in compression, which allows vehicle movements and it has been proven in rail applications. It's become the first choice material for biofilter floors where recycled plastic can perform at high temperatures and high humidity and allow good quality airflow beneath the floor system. This is another example of a large biofilter before the roof was put on at a plant in northern Germany. So in summary, the intrusion moulding of waste plastic is not merely a landfill diversion, it actually generates, used correctly, a very good quality product that can be lighter, stronger, longer lasting, more cost effective than alternative materials. There are a large number of new product applications under development and we often ask ourselves how many design engineers architects and specifiers would have chosen intrusion moulded recycled plastic had it been available at an earlier stage.